All right, more videos on 1GDs. This one's going to be a quick one. It's still here. You know, when we're doing videos, I'm just sort of thinking out loud. We're having a yak. We're having a laugh. We're trying to show you some stuff. We're trying to let you get to know us so you can see how we roll. And then you can decide, you know what, this guy's a clown, mate. I'm not taking your car to him. Or you can go, actually, I like how this guy rolls. I wonder if he's got a workshop. Can I get it in there? Yeah, he's not just some um, YouTuber with a million subscribers. Maybe some other time, mate. If you all subscribe and turn the bell on and get all your friends as well, you'll save a heap of money. You'll get smarter. You'll get wise. And, mate, I might get my 100,000 subscriber trophy. Apparently, you get a trophy at 100,000 subscribers. Getting closer. So, can we hurry up and get that done, please? Please subscribe. Turn the bell on. And I'll do a video and show you the trophy. Anyway... What this video is about is, remember the coolant was low? And you know, this is the problem with me. I keep thinking about things later. So it was a quick blah, blah, blah. So when I speak, it's just what's on my mind. You know, think think before you speak or you sound like a bloody idiot. Anyway, that happens sometimes. You get that. It's all part of the fun. We don't mind. Um, but, you know, so I said, oh, coolant's low. I don't know what that is. Maybe the DPS team worked on. Then I looked over there and got distracted by those clamps and all that, right? And that's cool, because that might be right and it might be wrong. The other thing that could be happening is this EGR cooler over here, that's that rectangular unit down under there, like what the 1KD's got, except this one's problematic. And it's happened to a lot... Okay, so let's... See, how do I say this? It's rare, because it's not going to happen to most people, but there's a lot of people it's happened to that that cooler, it internally leaks. Look, it's got coolant. Seen these pipes? Coolant, hose coolant, going to the EGR cooler, right? So there's coolant in there, but there's also exhaust gases going through there in a separate compartment, but it leaks between the two compartments. I'm not an expert on it. I don't know much about it, but if we've got coolant disappearing here and we can't see a leak anywhere, guess what? That's where it will most likely be going. Now, I'm not saying that we need to see a leak. I mean, you know, could a leak see like we've topped it up? You know, I wonder who poured this in here and made all that mess. Bloody unbelievable. No, it's not that bad anyway. I'm just, have, I was just waiting for it. It was all about trying to get it. I put the bait out there. I was trying to get a response, right? Anyway, the point is we've topped it up. We're going to clean this baby down the way we do at the Prada Hospital. And if he brings it back for another service, if he can afford to bring it back for another service, because we got value for money pricing, fair, honest pricing, which isn't cheap because, you know, if you want people to do a good job, you got to pay for it. And this expensive, genuine Toyota gold going in there, and that's what we use. Have a look for yourself. That's what it is. It's real, man. That's what we put in. It's not just, you know, that funnel. I've had that for over 30 years. That's correct. I had two of them. I don't know where the other one went to. Anyway, what I wanted to say was, because there was a bit of, like now, yak, yak, yak in the other video, that the coolant that was missing from there could be going through the engine. Now, there was a car that's here today. There's another one here for the next service, and he's talking about white smoke on startup, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So what we're going to do, a few startups. So subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss those videos. So we can show you what I find, what's normal, what's not. You really just don't want to miss any videos. Just in the last 24 hours, I'm looking at a few posts on Facebook where people are asking questions and all the regulars are kind of going, look, you know, watch the videos. And often I go, look, there's a bunch of videos on that. And then they go searching and they go, oh, I've searched for hours and, you know, I can't find it. It's not can't find it. The best way to get educated on your vehicle so you make the right decisions to keep it reliable, to save yourself thousands, is not la la la, go and have a good time, go out to the pub for dinner and drink beer and whatever and whatever. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Why did that, like I said, think before you speak. Anyway, the whole point is you need to just see that video each day, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. What did I waffle on the other day? Half an hour or something. Crazy. I've dedicated the time to waffle to get you thinking. The least you can do respectfully is just listen to it and go, right, and hit the thumbs up and subscribe and turn the bell on and wait for the next one. And then when that issue arises, you won't be going, oh, God, there's a video. Oh, see, everyone's telling me there's a video on that. And because everyone can't be bothered explaining it and writing for 20 minutes because they don't all talk to the phone like I say. I talk to videos. I talk to I talk to the text messages. I talk to Facebook. I don't type. That's why there's no punctuation. I haven't got time. I'm busy, mate. The only time I've got time for is I make time for you to make these videos 
to get you educated. Yeah, for you, it's not for my YouTube and how much money, uh, you've seen how much money I make from YouTube. Yeah. Right, did I show you, say, three or four years ago how much money I make from YouTube? Yes. Did I show you in the last couple of months how much I make from YouTube? Yes. Is it three or four years should be what, three or times more money, or is it about the same? But, uh, Tell them the truth, more. mate. Tell them the truth. It should be more, but you're not getting more. That's it, exactly right, people. So, 20,000 subscribers, 80,000 subscribers. Apparently, you get paid the same. And someone did say to me recently, oh, but the way the market's gone and all that, I don't really care the way the the and the, and the um, what the economy. Hey, don't worry, mate. They're still bumping all those ads in there. So, look, YouTube is not to make money. If you've got millions of subscribers because you burn cars and smash things up and entertain everyone... Or something along those lines. I don't know. I suppose if we did all cars and all engines and that, we could probably crack a thousand, a million pretty quick. But um, as people put in the comments, the information on our channel, it's relevant to all makes and models. And anyone that wants to get educated on cars, you don't want to miss it. Yeah, these clips at the side are missing too. So that one and that one. So it just means it's probably had a um, windscreen replaced i reckon at some stage right there's these you don't need them by the way people don't don't even bother replacing those they're a pain to get in and out you don't need them once again it's a bit like this one see how the rubber seal sits there and holds it down you don't need all these clips but we put them back because they're his clips um same thing there see the back of the bonnet it sits on that rubber seal there right see that it's all locked in mate regardless of what's going on there you know you don't need it i've i've decided so and for the people that don't trust Toyota engineers, well, trust me, because I just said something different. They said you need clips in there. I said you don't. Anyway, beware of the EGR cooler problem. It's a real thing. Keep an eye on your coolant levels on the 1GDs, right? So I finally got it out in the end. Keep an eye on your coolant levels. And if it's dropping down and you can't find a leak anywhere, it could be if you've had your DPF worked on recently or you've had a coolant change, it could be an airlock and it's topping up just from natural causes, we'll call that, you know, just going to the dealership. Or it could be an internal leak in the EJR cooler, which means the coolant goes through your engine and out the exhaust until you run out of coolant and you cook the engine, or it increases to a amount where you can't compress, you know, fluids. You can compress air, you can't compress liquids, right? So, um, and whatever happens, right? Again, I don't work at the dealership, I don't see it happen. I'm just telling you what it could be and something that happens with this engine that you better keep an eye on and it's more likely it's going to happen later. And is there going to be warranty? I don't know. Is there going to be another class action? Class action on DPF. Class action on timing chains and guides. Class action on E... Oh, where does it end? Anyway, right, just giving you the warning what it might be because I didn't mention it in the other video. Hopefully you grab some info out of that and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.